Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey with a Forex quick look at the Dollar versus Canada. So let's get started. Hey, well, we know what, uh, what happened in the, uh, this week was uh, we did find a willing sellers against a 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart here uh, earlier this week that uh, kept the bears more in control. Also in play was the 100 day moving average. And when the price fell below that level here, we stayed below that level, started its rotation to the downside and trading trading uh, uh you know fomc rate day and then continued in trading yesterday and in trading here today we even moved even lower uh and in the process we went below the 200 day moving average went below the 50 percent midpoint now that's of this uh move uh if i go back in time here and uh, look at this uh low right here this is the uh, july low right here to the high price that we saw in uh, uh october early november that 50 percent uh, was broken and that uh sent the uh, price out uh, sharply lower and then we also moved below the uh, uh the low prices uh, here and swing levels here and uh where do we bottom in trading here today we had a number of different lows right through here which uh, corresponded with uh, some low prices going back here this is the last uh, uh swing low before moving sharply to the upside and uh right here as well swing low move sharply to the upside so there is reason to uh, stall the fall right here, uh, and uh, that's exactly what the price did over uh, uh, in trading here today. The price has rebounded back to the upside with the uh, John Williams uh, talking a little bit more hawkishly. Although uh, yields, I look at yields right now and they're back down on the day, so uh, it's not really going that far. Now the rebound off of that uh, that low uh, did uh, come up toward the 134 level, which was near the broken 61.8 percent retracement again of that move up from the July low and uh, so uh, finding uh, resistance sellers against the 134 ish type level uh, is uh, uh, keeps the bears firmly in control currently trading at 133.87 so watch that level in the short term if you're a trader um, but uh, overall you know the dollars uh, selling this week is uh, significant and uh, tilts a buy so uh, for further to the downside let's just take a look at the daily chart for giggles and uh, this is the move up from the July low to the high this is a 61.8 percent retracement and uh this is the uh, low prices that we saw uh, last lows that we saw so um if the uh, momentum should continue uh, uh i guess we look at this level this area right through here between 132.98 let's call it 133 and 133.20 on the downside number of different uh, swing lows uh coming in against that level more particular uh or looking more uh closely at it uh, this is a nice little low this is a nice little low we saw big moves off of that those levels right through here uh we uh, uh tried to hold support against it here but then broke below it uh we uh, traded above and below it here but the last thing that we did here before moving higher was uh get uh was hold the support against that level and push the upside so uh if we do i uh, see further momentum to the downside watch the 133 to 133 20 level on the downside for the dollar versus Canada. So there you have it, a technical look at that the currency pair. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune to your training. Bye-bye now.